Hey guys, Emon from Peso Smart PH here and welcome to another video. Today we are going to discuss a potential 700,000 peso passive income a year from stocks. So, um paano nga ba natin to kaya ni achieve? So first, let's define what is passive income. So again, from Wikipedia, passive income is income that requires little to no effort to earn and maintain. It is called progressive passive income when the earner expends little effort to grow the income. Examples of passive income include rental income and any business activities in which the earner does not materially participate. And then from Investopedia, passive income is earnings derived from a rental property limited partnership or other enterprise in which a person is not actively involved. As with active income, passive income is usually taxable. Portfolio income is considered passive income by some analysts, so dividends and interest would therefore be considered passive. Right, so, um, ano nga ba yung magandang strategy dito para magkaroon tayo ng passive income para mabuo natin yung portfolio natin? para magkaroon ng isang sustainable na passive income. So, yeah. Yung strategy natin dito is dividend investing. So, ano nga ba yung dividend? So, again, from Wikipedia, a dividend is a payment pay made by a corporation to its shareholders, usually as a distribution of profits. When a corporation earns a profit or surplus, it helps. Uh, the corporation is able to reinvest the profit in the business, called retained earnings, and pay a proportion of the profit as a dividend to shareholders. So it's basically like giving back. Like the businesses that you invested in are giving back to you. And they're sharing their profits to you. Because like, when you invest in them, it's like you're giving them money so that they can spend that. Uh, on their efforts to maybe develop a new product uh, for maybe advertising, something like that. And then distribution to shareholders may be in cash, usually a deposit into a bank account, or if the corporation has a dividend and reinvestment plan, the amount can be paid by the issue of further shares or share repurchase. So yeah, sometimes hindi siya cash, like hindi siya um, money. Uh, they give out dividends in the form of uh, stocks as well. So sometimes they give it 50%. For example, you bought uh, 1,000 shares. They're going to give 500 shares back to you. I mean, that's a good thing as well. Maganda yun. And uh, sometimes it's 100%. So yeah, yun yung like best deal. Sometimes because, for example, bumili ka ng 1,000 shares like from um, DMC. And then they give out... um they give out a dividend na 100%. So, yung 1,000 shares, mamigay yung 20,000 shares. So, that's, that's really good. And then, when dividends are paid, shareholders typically must pay income taxes and the corporation does not receive a corporate income tax deduction for the dividend payments. And from Investopedia, a dividend is dis distribution of reward from a portion of the company's earnings and is paid to a class of its shareholders. Dividends are decided and managed by the company's board of directors, though they must be approved by the shareholders through their voting rights. Dividends can be issued as cash, cash payments, as uh, shares of stocks, or other property, though cash dividends are the most common. And then of course, um, which stocks should you buy? Ano nga ba yung dapat natin bilhin? Na, na stocks para mabuo yung maganda nating dividend uh, portfolio. Dividend paying portfolio. So first, syempre uh, may two types of stocks eh. Merong isang common stock. And yung common stock is a form of corporate equity ownership, a type of security. The terms voting share and ordinary share are also used frequently in other parts of the world. So yeah, if uh, ito yung pinaka-common, kaya nga common stock yung tawag siya yung like pinaka basic na in offer ng mga companies and kapag ka common stock yung binili mo uh, you have the voting rights as mentioned earlier nga like in approve yung board of directors and then yeah may voting rights yung mga shareholders yung mga common stock holders 
uh, dun sa dividends na ibabayad nila. But, ayun nga, uh, hindi siya like regular yung dividend payments uh, from common stocks usually. Uh, it really depends on how the business uh, does in, you know, in a fiscal year. So, ayan. And then, meron pang isang type ng stock which is the preferred stock. So, preferred stock is a form of stock which may have any combination of features not possessed by common stock, including properties of both an equity and a debt instrument. And it's generally considered a hybrid instrument. So, yeah, basically, um, may parang callability period yung preferred stock. For example, like may terms yan, uh, usually binibigyan ng companies like 0, 5 years, 10 years, and then like, iba buy back nila yun sa inyo. Sa original price na kung magkano sya, nyo siya binili. But like yung ano niya, yung interest rate niya. I mean, not really interest rate, but like yung um, like yung binibigyan nila ng dividends. Yung dividend yield, dividend percentage is around 7 to 8%. And yeah, that's just really good. And then, here we are. So, ito yung screenshot from Pesobility. So, here, <coughs> we're looking at um, the highest, uh, the stocks that has the highest dividend yields compared to the their current prices. So, 2018 pa to. So, it's not that accurate, but... Oh, we're just gonna use this for reference. Kasi in November na. So, um, maglalabas sa sila ng panibagong like, uh, computations and percentages. Kasi, yeah, nagbigay na rin ng halos lahat ng companies ng dividends this 2019. Since, yeah, mag-end na rin yung year. But, yeah. Uh, as you can see here, may isa lang preferred stock dito. Yung SMC2C. San Miguel Corporation Series 2 preferred stock. So, yung bibigay ng dividends is 6 pesos per share every year. Uh, it's divided uh, into four, so that's quarterly. So 1.5 pesos uh, per quarter. So that's like uh, a 7.72 percent um, dividend yield. So last traded price is 77.75. So yeah, divide nyo lang yun, uh, like six pesos divided by 7.75. And yeah, makukuha nyo yung 7.72% na dividend yield. Then we have here SPC Power Corporation, 9% yung dividend yield niya. Uh, these are common stocks na by the way. And then yeah, GMA 9.52. Uh, SCC Semirara Mining and Power Corporation, 10.27. Then DMC, DMCI Holdings Incorporated, 14.12. Uh, ito, medyo... Mm, medyo bloated yung dividend yield niya dito kasi 2018 pa nga. And like sobrang nag-plummet yung ano, yung price ng uh, DMC stocks. I think uh, the lowest it, it has gotten in like a one year span. Hmm. Yeah, I think nag 6.55 yung price niya recently. Mm, I I actually um research kung bakit ganun yung yung naging price yan but siya nag plummet but I haven't really found any relevant information about TMC. I mean they're really doing good kumikita yung company so I'm not sure bakit sobrang you know nag plummet siguro may nag unload ng stocks nila I don't know I'm not sure but yeah anyway uh, the next one is uh, Shell Petroleum Corporation. It's at 15.72% dividend yield. And then yun Lotto, uh, 31.01%. So yun, uh, medyo volatile yung mga ganitong uh, percentages ng dividend yield. Like, etong lalo na itong sa Lotto. But uh, I still own stocks from Lotto. Kasi, you know, uh, you never know. <laughs> Eh, sobrang nag-plummet din yung prices nila. So, sobrang tumas din yung dividend yield, yung percentage. But like, 
Um, sa history naman nila, every year talaga sila nagbibigay ng dividends. So, I'm not sure if they'll still do it on 2020. But yeah, I hope uh, they will. Uh, Shell, same thing. Nagbibigay din sila yearly ng dividends. DMC, yeah, hakabigay lang nila nitong 2019. SEC, same thing. Jimmy 7 nabayaran na nila ako this 2019. So, hopefully, they'll continue doing that. In the future, and yeah, pero uh, 0.45 lang yung nabigay nila nitong 2019 instead of like 0.5. But yeah, it's it's a uh, counting difference na lang yun. SPC, as I have, yeah, I bought stocks from them then. And then SMC2C, of course. That's like my biggest investment currently. So, ano ba yung timetable para makuha natin yung 700k estimated 700,000 pesos na passive income? So, the goal is to invest 10 million uh, pesos on a stock that gives at least 7% returns or dividend yield per year. So, yeah, um, yeah, medyo malaki yung goal, but if you think about it, uh, sobrang, sobrang gandang idea niya kasi. Diba? Like, wala ka nang ginagawa eh. <laughs> Pagka na-rich mo yun. Like, kikita ka ng 700 estimated you know, before taxes. 700k or more. Depende yun sa return, syempre. Like, yung percentage ng yearly returns. Uh, 700k a year. So, yeah. If gusto mong ma-achieve yung like 10 million na investment in 10 years, kailangan mo mag-save or like mag-invest ng 83,000 333.33 per month. So yeah, sasabihin niya, uy, sobrang laki naman nun, hindi yun kaya. Uh, dapat mayaman ka na rin para magawa mo yun. Well, uh, that's true. But, hindi pa natin tinitake into account yung uh, compounding interest dito. So, kung yung goal mo is 10 years, um, medyo ano ka eh, medyo aggressive ka nun. And, yeah, syempre kailangan natin ng patience kapag uh, nagbubu tayo ng investment portfolio natin. But yeah, gusto ko lang ilagay dito para makita natin yung actual figures and kung uh, feasible ba siya sa current situation nyo and sa current, you know, uh, target nyo na timetable. And if 20 years, of course, half lang nun, 41,666.67 uh, per month. And at 30 years, 27,000 per month. And then if 40 years, yun, yun naman yung kalimitan uh, na duration na gusto natin kasi like we retire tayo like at around 60 plus well that really depends on your preferences pero ayun yun yung like common so 20,000 per month for much of yun for example nag ano ka na nag start ka at 20 years old so by 60 kung 20 kayo na invest mo every month uh, magkaroon ka na ng income na 700k a year without you doing anything so yeah, once you've reached a 10 million peso goal, you'll receive approximately 700,000 pesos per year without doing anything. Yeah, gusto kong, uh, gusto kong re -e -re reiterate yun. Without doing anything. Papasok na lang yun sa, ano mo, sa, sa account mo. <clears throat> Depende dun sa, syempre, sa stocks na binili mo. Kung yearly ba, kung quarterly ba. Diba? I think as far as I know, walang monthly nagbibigay ng um, the all this and dividends sa Philippines, but yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, based on my research, wala ako nakita. Quarterly lang kalimitan and the first yearly. Minsan like by yearly, so yeah, twice a year, but uh, those are like special cases. Lalo na pa ng special uh, dividend payments yung mga companies. So okay. Um, isa pang magandang question is why would you invest 10 million pesos when you have it when you can in, when you can spend it instead you know diba like malaki na 10 million pwede ka na bumili ng kotse pwede ka bumili ng bahay pwede ka bumili ng kondo marami ka na pwede bumili nun pwede ka na mag-travel so unang una 700,000 uh, pesos per year is a lot of money and that's 58,000 estimated per month without doing anything. Like, uh, I'm not sure kung magkano yung like na receive from uh, Social Security, SSS. Uh, I'm not sure of the exact figures, but like, 
um yung mga senior citizens citizens natin ngayon i think na receive nila is around like 5000 to 10000 a month from that pension fund so that's not really ideal so kung isipin niyo pag nag-start kayo at 20 and then nag-retire kayo at 60 senior citizen ayo 50,000 is a lot of money and yeah you can live a very comfortable life if you do that you know if you receive that and then the dividend payments might increase in the long run. So hindi lang naman yan, ano, hindi lang naman yan magsisay sa 7% every year. Uh, it might increase. Syempre it might decrease the yield risk, but yeah, you have to be you have to be positive and we have to be optimistic about our investment. So yeah, isipin natin mag-increase yan. <laughs> and of course, uh isa pang magandang thing dito is you can transfer stocks to your children you can gift it to them and as far as i know it's not taxable or anything because it's a form of a gift so yeah pwede siya ipamana <laughs> so think about that like may silang guaranteed like 58,000 pesos per month so even if like may mangyari sa inyo syempre hindi naman din may wasan yun In- inevitable naman yung death but yeah Meron na silang like funds even if you're gone. Diba? And then the 10 million peso investment can be recovered if you decide to sell it. Siyempre, diba? Like, uh, example yet, if you hold it for 10 years, so it'll make you another 7 million pesos. So that's insane, right? <laughs> like, nakasit lang dun yung 10 million mo and then it made you another 7 million. So, pwede hindi mo naman yung gasos sa lahat, diba? Uh, pwede naman like in reinvest mo rin yan. So, it's up to you. And of course, it's fun to make your money work for you. Ayun. <laughs> and that's gonna be the video, guys. <laughs> so, let's end it with another quote from Warren Buffett. If you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. So yeah. Uh nung nabasa ko to, like first time ko nabasa to, like yeah, it's like uh nagising ako <laughs> sa totohanan. <laughs> kasi nga, yeah, hindi naman kasi yung, I mean, like in my opinion lang ah, uh, yung school system, uh ni-ready nila tayo para sa ano? Para maging empleyado, you know. Uh so wala masyadong financial uh, literacy doon, wala silang masyadong tinuturo about money. Uh and like, I mean me, I grew up um, being like kind of sensitive about the, you know, the money talk, the money, you know, pag yung topic is money. Yeah, parang sensitive siya, hindi siya dapat pinag or whatnot. But yeah, it shouldn't be that way. And dapat at a young age, marang tayo mag-handle ng budget, marang tayo mag-handle ng, you know, ng money para you know ma- may invest natin and we don't buy you know dumb shit <laughs> so yeah uh syempre huwag nyo kalimutan is smash yung like button if you saw new video and subscribe na rin to my channel so you won't miss any of my videos uh reminder lang i upload videos uh, every tuesday and thursday so that's two videos every single week so you don't want to miss that uh, again, thanks for watching and sana may natutunan kayo. I'll see you guys in the next one and be peso smart.